If you have a copy of the article, The Rough Skin Newt, or are logged into Amplify, follow along as I read it to you. While we're reading, I want you to think about what are you learning about the newt population? Rough skin newts may not appear dangerous. They are no longer than 20 centimeters, eight inches, with stubby legs and teeth that look like tiny bumps. However, some of these newts are the most poisonous animals in the Pacific Northwest. One rough skin newt can have enough poison in its body to kill dozens of humans. That's crazy, an eight inch long newt? That means if I took a regular eight and a half by 11 piece of paper and I laid a newt across the short edge of it, it wouldn't even be that big. And it can kill dozens of people. Rough skin newts have brown bumpy skin on their backs with bright orange skin on their bellies. When threatened by predators, newts curl their bodies to show the orange undersides of their necks and tails. The orange color warns predators to stay away and most predators do. The only predators that regularly eat rough skin newts are common garter snakes. I wonder what's special about garter snakes that allows them to eat poisonous newts. Newts hatch in the water, but they spend most of their lives on land, often hiding under fallen leaves or bark. At night, they hunt for insects, tiny fish, and other small prey. When they are ready to mate, rough skin newts return to the water where males and females swim together in pairs. The females lay poisonous eggs and attach them to underwater plants. I bet having poisonous eggs makes it so that the eggs are less likely to get eaten. Now that we've read the article, take a moment and record two things you learned about our newt population.